Now, Christmas Day has not been merry for one St. Andrew woman who, having turned up to the Victoria Jubilee Hospital in Kingston to give birth earlier today, is now mourning the loss of that child. The woman's relatives are blaming the hospital, but the hospital says the story the family has told TVJ News is not entirely true. TVJ's Shamela Pullen has the claims and the counterclaims, as well as the health minister's response in this primetime news report. December 25, 2018, Christmas morning, minutes after 5. A day 38-year-old Carleen Allen will never forget. Miss Allen's brother, Colin, told TVJ News that he brought his pregnant sister to the Victoria Jubilee Hospital in Kingston to have her baby. Shortly after Miss Allen got to the hospital and checked in, she started to complain about intense pain. Mr. Allen said they tried to get help but did not get any on time. I said, no, she can't hold back her seat because she, things have come out of her and all them things. You understand? So, meanwhile, with the in front of her, my sister said to me, say, my brother, you know, so I feel that like the baby has come. See what you can do for help me. So I tell her to open my foot and I see the baby come out and I hold the baby in my hand and I have a ball for help. I have a ball for help and the body now come. Every one of the nurses say, who said what I see in front of me, them run gone in some form of room. I don't know which part of them run gone in them. Mr. Allen said a health worker then came and took the baby from him. The family was later informed that the baby had died while inside the mother's womb. The mother got doctor yesterday. So if the baby did dead from inside the mother's womb, how she feel, feel pain and the baby are moving her belly because the baby did not move. And she had feel pain yet last night when she come in, she had feel pain and she had feel all kind of things. So there's no way, as she said, the baby did like the baby did about three days ago or four days ago. And she got doctor yesterday and the baby did all right. Acting senior medical officer at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital, Dr. Garth MacDonald, gave a different version of what happened. The patient came in this morning and had signs of labor earlier, uh, around 2, 3 a.m. Came to the labor ward around 6 a.m. and the showered and started feeling as if she wanted to bear down. And on her way to the delivery room, that's where her head broke. Dr. McDonald said the hospital is now investigating. He also maintained that based on the signs the baby was showing when it was delivered, it was dead before delivery. There were signs of maceration in terms of the stripping of the skin and areas of denudation on the fetal body and swelling um, in keeping with, with such. Dr. McDonald said Miss Allen is clinically stable and well. He also said she will be getting psychological treatment before she's released. The acting CMO also insists that the hospital handle the situation well. Meanwhile, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton has ordered an autopsy to determine the cause of the baby's death. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.